students. They're trying to find out what made him go on that bloody shooting rampage and if he was part of a conspiracy. Eric Sean has the latest on this case, including some exclusive details on what Rashad Boz told police. Rashad Boz launched his one-man terrorist-style attack because he hates Jews and vowed to revenge the mosque massacre. Or he impulsively opened fire on the van full of Hasidic Jewish students because they had cut him off in traffic. Police sources say Boz gave both conflicting stories as the reason why the Lebanese-born Brooklyn livery cab driver allegedly strafed the van as it drove across the Brooklyn Bridge, wounding four yeshiva students and leaving one 16-year-old Ari Haberstam brain dead. A high-ranking police source has told Fox News Boz has given a lengthy written and videotaped confession admitting he opened fire with two guns because, quote, I had a Palestinian scarf and they cursed at me. And I yelled back, black you, Jews. We assumed that this was, and, and please understand this, this is not meant to alarm anyone, we assumed that it would be as if it were a clear, absolute, definite terrorist attack. It wasn't clearly that. It may turn out to be, it may turn out not to be. But we assume that for purposes of the police department deploying police officers and uh, providing protection. Boz was arraigned overnight, held on no bail, charged with 15 counts of attempted murder, assault, and weapons possession. His lawyer told the court, cops caught the wrong man. And he told me there is no reason to believe Boz is part of a terrorist conspiracy. But he had no comment when I asked if Boz knew line Muslim fundamentalist cleric Sheikh Omar Abdelrahman, or the other Islamic suspects accused of bombing the World Trade Center. There's nothing more that could be done that isn't being done if we had come to the conclusion that this was a conspiracy. 32-year-old Haile Mohammed and 27-year-old Bassam Riyadi, the owner of Baz's car service, were also arrested, accused of hiding the car and weapons Baz allegedly used in the attack. For if Baz had not supposedly blown out his passenger side window in the car when he opened fire, he would have been a lot harder to catch. A motorist driving over the Brooklyn Bridge when the attack erupted frantically called 911 on his car phone, giving what police call a play-by-play -play description of the shooting. Authorities are praising the Good Samaritans who flooded police hotlines with tips, and a Jewish Lubavitcher leader is grateful to Arab New Yorkers who helped cops track down bars. We thank the Arab community for their cooperation in this situation and in helping to apprehend the suspects. Authorities don't know if they're dealing with a wider terrorist conspiracy or the lone impulsive action of an apparent maniac. But so far, the only other two suspects arrested are accused of helping Boz after the shooting and not of planning and plotting an unspeakable and repulsive act. I'm Eric Sean, Fox News, Manhattan. Believe that the guns used on Tuesday's attack on the Hasidic students on the Brooklyn Bridge were to have been used for future terrorist attacks designed to cripple the Middle East peace process. Rashad Boz is said to have been the gunman in the attack. Boz and the two men charged with helping him reportedly belong to a militant group of fundamentalists that has been under observation before the bloody attack. ABC News says the surveillance was carried out by both the Federal Bureau of Investigation and by agents of Mossad, the Israeli intelligence service. Diana Williams has been looking into these new developments this evening and has reports. Okay. Well, Bill, ABC News tells us that their information comes from four independent sources. ABC does not confirm that Boz was acting on orders from a terrorist group in Tuesday's attack on the Brooklyn Bridge. He clearly may have acted on his own. But ABC does report these men belong to a militant group under investigation. According to ABC News, 28-year-old Rashad Boz and the two other men arrested were members of a militant Arab group in Brooklyn, a group that the FBI and Israeli intelligence had been watching for some time. Police found a stash of weapons, and according to ABC, these guns were part of a larger supply, and that members of the terrorist group were planning future attacks in order to disrupt the Middle East peace process. ABC tells us that immediately after the shooting, Several people associated with the group fled the country. This man, Bassam Riyati, ran the Pioneer Car Service where Boz worked. Riyati and 32-year-old Hilal Muhammad were arrested for allegedly helping Boz after the shooting, hiding the car and the weapon. Shiva students is being held without bail tonight, and two other Arab men were charged today with helping him get rid of the guns used in the attack. But as Channel 2's Chris Borgen reports, so far, police will not call it a conspiracy. 
The 28-year-old Rashad Boz was arraigned this morning in court and charged with 15 counts of attempted murder, along with four counts of first and second degree assault, two counts of criminal use of firearms, and four counts of possession of firearms. The prosecutor told the court that witnesses had picked Boz out of two separate lineups, and during questioning, Boz had admitted, he said, in writing and on videotape, having fired at the bus in anger, allegedly because the bus had cut him off in traffic. Police say they got on to Boz after he was said to have pulled his damaged car into this repair shop in Red Hook and was seen holding a gun to the proprietor's head, demanding that he repair the windows damaged by gunfire. A workman, hearing the news of the shooting on the radio, then put two and two together and called the police, who traced Boz to his home here in the Sunset Park section of Brooklyn. While police will not close the door on a possible conspiracy in the shooting, they are more and more inclined to believe that Rashad Boz acted alone when he allegedly fired that fusillade of shots at the van filled with rabbinical students. However, within hours of Boz's arrest, police picked up two other suspects, 32-year-old Halil Mohammed, who police say tried to help Boz by hiding the car allegedly used in the shooting and by picking up some 15 shell casings from the floor of that car and discarding them in a dumpster. The second man, 26-year-old Bassam Rieti, owner of the Pioneer Car Service in Red Hook, where Baz worked as a chauffeur and a driver. After being told of the shooting, Rieti is alleged to have provided a car to drive Baz and a bag load of guns to the Baz home in Sunset Park, then to help remove the bullet-shattered windshield from the blue Chevy Baz is said to have used in that attack on the bus. Police say there is no evidence that either man had any prior knowledge of the attack, so they were not charged with conspiracy or acting in concert. Their accessories after the fact, they assisted uh, the principal defendant in some aspects of uh, activity after the fact, after the shooting. The three defendants, Baz, Riati, and Mohammed, are all due back in court for the next hearing scheduled for March 8th. In the Sunset Park section of Brooklyn, I'm Chris Borgen, Channel 2 News. A day of mourning for lives lost in the massacre. The police say the Lebanese national claims he started shooting as a result of a traffic dispute. Meanwhile, the Manhattan DA's office says Boz was identified in two separate lineups. He also gave police written and videotaped statements, and sources say shell casings found in Boz's car matched those found at the scene of Tuesday's shooting.